Right, in the gym, we've got the pleasure of speaking to Matt Skelton. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks, yeah. Um, just come up today to do a bit of spine. It was really worked out well. Uh, working with Carl Spencer and David Allen, who's to make his professional debut on December the 8th. What do you think? Very good. I mean, I come up here, I, you know, not make it. I, I've done no spying, but I needed this today. Tough guys. They both come at me. Um, totally do two different styles. Um, and obviously, it's making you have to think, doing one in, one out. But obviously, Kevin said this would benefit me. So hopefully, you know, we can get some more of this. And... Um, Get you know get get me more up to par if you want. Um, you know the the guys are very very positive, and obviously I've been around Kevin for a long time, so I know that he's going to be pushing them and trying to get the best out of them. So let's think back to when you made your professional debut. How, how do you think, uh, or what were you thinking at the time? And how nervous were you? And what was it like on the night? Well, to me, I was quite fortunate. I mean, I've never done the amateurs, but I come from a Thai boxing background, so I'd fought in front of big crowds and everything. I mean, I think my first one was at the um. A leisure centre, which was about, I think, two thousand people. So it, I wasn't overwrought by it in any way. But obviously, your kind of expectations are high um, from Kevin and obviously the team around me. So you wanted to produce. And the, I remember going back after the first round, and I was with Roger Maltby then, who was a cornerman, and he said to me, "You know what are you doing? This is not you, the map we know from the gym." And then I, I think I stopped him in round two with a with an overhand right, but. Yeah, you, your nerves, sometimes you get, sometimes it's positive adrenaline, it's good, it's nothing wrong with that, you, you take any athlete at any level when they're competing, the adrenaline flows and that, to me, that, that gets the be best out of you. So you've gone on to have a, well, a fantastic career, haven't you, like David Price coming up as well? Yeah, I've, you know, I've had, I started late as everybody knows, like I said, no amateur and um, I was out of the game for near enough, two years and then sat down with Kevin, we spoke about a possible free fight deal with Frank Maloney, first one being Tom Dallas. And then um, I had a one in between there, which wasn't planned, but got the result there. And then another one, which was on the undercard of Price, Audley Harrison. Um, and they promised me the winner. And obviously this is what's coming up for me now. Fantastic. And in terms of like getting these boxers to where, where you've been and all the like the dizzy heights that you've seen, uh, what's your advice for these lads? Do you know, in all honesty, I've always said if someone wants something enough, they can do it. You know, no matter what you say, it's the thing about boxing is... It's everything you need to. You need to spar. You need to. You need to run. You need to try and eat right, and you need to be have a positive outlook. And if you believe in yourself, that can take you a long way. But it's putting in the work, isn't it? And like I said, it hasn't come easy. Sort of, I've been in the pro game alone, sort of ten years, and you look back and you think, wow. But you know, when I first started, I was talking to guys who started at the age of fifteen. Like I said, I didn't put on a pair of gloves for any sort of fighting sport to the age of twenty-one. I was talking to the young lad there. I forgot his name. Um, he's twenty. Um, yeah, and he's very strong very powerful Kevin told me that there was a young lad in the gym who reminded very much of myself and um, you know I can see what Kevin means by that he, he, he comes forward he comes to a fight and you know as, as time moves up you know his his bravado and that it will kind of have to change because obviously he takes shots and he kind of laughs at you which I've done but there comes a time when these guys who are throwing these shots they'll see you and see his kidology and they'll try and capitalise on it so but that all comes as, as, as a learning curve and I think, you know, he's got the right team around him. They'll do well. Kev Sanders, talk, talk to me about Kevin, because uh, I call him a trainer of champions. I love him. Yeah. You must be the only one then. No, you know, I've got to be fair. We've always said, me and Kevin, come, we got together. And not, if you ever look at Mace fighters' careers, they don't end up together with their training they started with. I've, I've been with Kevin from day dot. And I hope to think over the years we'll become friends also. So, you know, we sit down, we discuss the fight. And that's it. And we don't talk about it anymore. We get in the gym, we do the work. And Kevin knows I'm the sort of trainer, um, fighter rather. If, I'm, if, if he's not around me, I'm doing my road work. I'm working alongside now a guy called Mark Freeman, who's been very positive. He's a really good motivator. Um, and he's got me a superb weight. I'm, I, su I feel super fit. I mean, I've just done eight rounds there, one in, one out. And, I, and I'm not blowing. I feel good. You know, I got caught with a few silly shots. But like I said, it's my first time back. We have to go. But Kevin himself is good. And um, he's been around some great fighters. And he brings a lot to the, the table. We all know, kind of, we understand each other as well and that comes over years of work together. So you're looking forward to the, the price fight then? Yeah, you know, I'm not going to kid myself. It's a tough, tough fight. Like I said, I've, uh, I've been out of the game for a while. I've come back in at this level, which a year ago, me and Mark were sitting down and we were saying we were scratching around to get a fight. Yeah. And a year on now, we're fighting for British and Commonwealth. It's a title I've held on several occasions before. Ironically enough, they, they, they moved the goalposts and you had to win it four times to win the Lonsdale belt. That's my ambition. That'd be nice. And then we sit down and, and, and think about what to do next. But at the same time, I know this is a tough fight. You know, David Price has got all the natural attributes of a good heavyweight. He's got the height. He's naturally lean. He's very athletic build. He's good amateur background. 
So, you know, I know I've got my work cut out, but I'm, I'm feeling positive. I go away from the gym today. I got caught with some shots, but I reflect on that and, and try and make that better. It, it won't put me on a down. I'll now sit and think, right, where did I go wrong? Let's correct it and come back. So what, what's your training uh, schedule now looking like for this uh, fight against David Price? Yeah, very good. I mean, we come up to Sheffield today. It's a bit of a trek, but we, we've done it because that's the, what you have to do. You put yourself out to get the sparring. We've got some sparring more local sort of for the end of the week. We'll do that. And it's just me, for me mainly now, it's, it's, it's getting the sparring because that's what I've been lacking. Like I said, I've always kept myself in the gym, kept myself quite busy, but you don't really spar unless you've got a fight coming up in line. Now, obviously the previous fights, Tom Dallas, I had a little bit of sparring, nothing special, but I looked at Tom Dallas and I knew I could beat him. The other fights were kind of interim fights and we never we never done no sparring if you want really. Bit of, bit of sparring with some lads who were cage fighters, bit of pad work. But now we really have to get the sparring in, in place. Um, the tall lad I'm terrible terrible with names oh. Carl yeah you know he's, he's ideal for me really he's rangy he leaves that jab out and then on the flip side I've got another guy who wants to come at you he's tough and he's so it makes me have to adapt and that's what happens in a fight you have to kind of analyse it round by round and try and switch and try and make it work for you Thanks for spending the time with us uh, Matt thanks a lot and good luck again Sir David Price Thank you very much indeed thank you cheers <laughs>